In today's video, we're going to be talking about add on like fractions. Okay? In this example, we have one half plus one third. We cannot add them because the denominators are not common, meaning they have to be the same. So to get the common denominator, we got to go ahead and go get our least common multiple for 2 and 3. If you don't remember that, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link on least common multiple down below on the description. So it's 1 half plus 1 third, we need to find that least common multiple. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and write 2 and 3. We're going to go write 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And then we're going to do the same thing with 3. We go 3, 6, 9, and 12. As you can see, we already found it in 6 here. And we found it in 6 for number 3. Okay. So for number 2, it took us 1, 2, 3. For number 3, it took us 1, and two. So we're going to go ahead and multiply one half times it took us three, one, two, three. So we're going to multiply by three. Whatever we do on the bottom, we always have to do on the top and vice versa. Whatever we do on the top, we also have to do it in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and multiply one times three is three and 2 times 3 is 6. So then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for 3. We're going to get 1 third, whatever our fraction is. And in this case, it's 1 third. So we're going to go ahead and do 1 third times. How many times do we multiply to get 6? 1, 2. So we're going to multiply by 2. Whatever we do on the top, we also have to do it in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and multiply that. And when we multiply that, we got 1 times 2 is 2. And then we have 3 times 2 is 6. So then we're going to go ahead and multiply both fractions because now we have a common denominator, which is 6. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 3, 6 plus 2, 6. We can go ahead and add the fractions now because we have the same common denominator. So we do 3 plus 2 is 5. And remember, we never switch the denominator. We leave it the same, which is going to be 6. So your answer for this problem is going to be 5 over 6. In this example, we have 1 fifth plus 1 tenth. We cannot add these fractions because they don't have a common denominator. So we're going to go ahead again and find the least common multiple. So we're going to go ahead and write 5 and 10. So we're going to start with 5 and 10. I stop right away because I know that 10, we have 10 here and then we have 10 on the second fraction. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and see how many times do I go ahead and multiply 5 to get to 10, which is 1 2. So I'm going to go and get my fraction 1 fifth and then I'm going to multiply that by 2 times and whatever I do on the top I always have to do it in the bottom as well. Okay, I got 2 because I multiply 1, 2 to get 10. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 1 times 2 is 2 and then 5 times 2 is 10. So I'm going to go ahead and write this fraction becomes 2 tenths plus I don't switch nothing like this because we already have 10 as our least common multiple so I don't switch that fraction I just leave it the same and I'm going to go ahead and add the fraction now. So I have 2 plus 1 is 3 and we don't touch your denominator which is only going to be 10 and your answer is 3 over 10. In this problem, we have 2 8 plus 1 half. If you want to go ahead and try to solve this problem, you can go ahead and pause the video now and try to do it on your own and then come back and hit the play button and see if you did it. And if not, you can go and see, 
go ahead and check where you did your mistake. Okay? Same thing, they do not have common denominators, so we're going to go ahead and find the least common multiple for both. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write 8 and we're going to write 2. Okay? We're going to start with 8 and then I stop at 16. You can go ahead and keep going if you want to. I just stop at 16 because it's already a big number. And then I go ahead with 2. I go with 2, 4, 6, and 8. I stop at 8 because I know I see an 8 here. And on one of our fractions is already 8. So that means I'm not going to go ahead and touch this one. Because we're going to find our least common multiple to be 8. So on this fraction, we're not going to move it. We're just going to leave it the same. So the same fraction will be 2 8 plus, And the only fraction we're going to move is here 2, which is 1 half. So we're going to write the 1 half in the bottom. And we're going to switch it to how many times do we multiply 2 to get to 8? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to go ahead and multiply and put the 4 here. Whatever we do on the top, we also have to do it in the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. So we're going to go, right, go ahead and write this fraction now. Here in the bottom. So the 1 half became 4 8. So we're going to go ahead now and that 2 plus 4 is 6 over 8. Okay. Now. Some teachers will allow you to just leave it at 6, 8. Some teachers are not going to let you. They're going to say, oh, well, wait. You can still simplify. So you can go ahead and simplify. Right away, I know that if it's an even number, I can go ahead and divide by 2. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by 2 because I know that's an even number. So when I go ahead and do that, 2 goes into 6 three times. And I know 2 goes into 8 four times. So our answer for this is going to be 3 over 4. Okay. So if you think one of your friends are having a problem with adding online fractions, go ahead, share the video with them, help them out, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And don't forget to make sure you stay to the end of the video, which I'm going to show you how to have a fraction turn into a mixed number. In this example, we have 2, 6 plus 1, 8. If you're still having problems with adding online fractions, go back to the three examples I already have done and go over them and go over them as many times as you need so you can go ahead and get better and understand it better. Okay, And if not, if you already understand it, you can go ahead, stop the video right now and also try to go ahead and do it on your own. Okay. Here we have the same thing. We have we don't have common denominators. So we're going to go ahead and find the least common multiple. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and write 6 and 8. So we'll start with 6. We write 6, 12, 18, 24, 32. And I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Then I'm going to go start with 8. I'm going to start with 8. 16, 24, and I'm going to go ahead and stop there because I will go ahead and I saw that right away at 6, I found 24, and at 8, I found 24 as well. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down this fraction, the 2, 6 first, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply by how many times did I have to multiply 6 to get to 24. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that by 4. Whatever we do on the top, we also have to do on the bottom, same number. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply now. 2 times 4 is 8. And we have 6 times 4, which is 24. Now we're going to go ahead and bring down the other fraction, which is 1 8. And we're going to go ahead and multiply that by how many times we got to 24. 1, 2, 3. So we're going to go multiply that by 3. And whatever, again, whatever we do on the top, we also have to do it in the bottom. Okay. 
So now we're going to go multiply 3 times 1, which is 3. And we're going to multiply 8 times 3, which is 24. And then we're just going to add our two fractions. We're going to add 8 over 24, which we got a fraction when we multiply the two sixes. And we're going to add 324, which we got when we did this problem here. And we're going to go ahead and just add 8 plus 3 is 11. And 24, we just leave it the same. You can go ahead and see if you can simplify that. You cannot simplify that. So our answer is going to be 11 over 24. In this example, we have 4 fifth plus 5 tenths. Then we're going to go ahead and find the least common multiple. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and write 5 and 10. We're going to start with 5 and 10. I'm going to stop right there because I already know that we have 10. So that doesn't mean I have to change this fraction. So I'm just going to leave it the same. I only have to change the 4 fifths. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down the 4 fifths. And multiply that by how many times do I need to multiply 5 to get to 10? 1, 2. So now we got 4 times 2 is 8. And we have 5 times 2 is 10. And I'm going to go ahead now and add the fractions. So I'm going to add 8 tenths, which becomes 4 fifths, became 8 tenths. Plus, I didn't switch the 5 tenths, leave it the same. And I'm going to go ahead and add them. At 8 plus 5 is going to be 13 over 10. Okay? In this scenario, you have your denominator to be 10 over 13, smaller, and your, 13, and your is 13 bigger. So if you want to go ahead and write it as a mixed number, you can go ahead and write, you can go ahead and write it as 10, 10, you know when you have 10, 10, it's going to be equal a whole. So you know you're going to have one whole. Now you're going to add, how many more do I need to get to 13? So I already have 10, say 11. 12, 13. So I need 3 more. And your denominator never changes, which is going to be 10. So when you write as a mixed fraction, your 10, 10 is 1 whole. And then you just go ahead and write 3 over 10. So that's how you go ahead and write a mixed fraction.